Alpen Solar, a joint venture between three Swiss companies, has successfully completed installing 5,000 solar panels on the Lake Mutzi Dam in Switzerland. Located at 8,200 feet above sea level, this is the highest dam in Europe, and energy production has already begun. With a project like Alpen Solar, the Swiss have just begun their large-scale transition from nuclear power to green energy, as planned in 2011. The Lake Mutzi Dam is located in the Swiss canton of Glarus, surrounded by snow-clad peaks. The project aims to generate 3.3 million kilowatts annually to power 700 homes. For this, 5,000 solar panels have been lined up against the wall of the dam, which is also the home to a hydroelectric power plant. The width of the solar panel installation is 0.62 miles, or 1 km wide, and the array is designed to generate 2.2 megawatts of electricity. For the project, Axpo, an energy firm in the joint venture, used bifacial glass solar modules manufactured by another Swiss company Megasol. Equipped with 1.5-inch frames, the panels can handle the snow load expected in the Swiss Alps. Although installing solar panels in snow-clad mountains might seem counterintuitive, Axpo expects them to work better in these regions, especially in the winter. This is because, unlike the lower altitudes, which are dominated by fog in winter months, the sun shines brightly at higher altitudes in Switzerland. An added benefit is the white snow, which reflects the sunlight onto the solar panels, which also generates higher yields when working at lower temperatures. Through this, Axpo expects to generate three times as much energy from the sun in winter months, such as February and March, when compared to the rest of the year. Over the coming years, plans to build 4,200 solar projects in the country's low-lying and mountainous regions. Last year, the Swiss government amended its Energy Act to enable faster approvals for new solar plants in the country. Denner, a discount chain also part of the Alpen Solar, has signed a long-term power purchase agreement with the project. Interestingly, this is the first PPA to be signed in the country.